Folks, I'm here with Art Santana, and he's the uh, manager of Ground Control. How long have you been with Ground Control, Art? It's about three and a half years now. What's it been like uh, managing a place as wonderful as this? Well, it's, it's a pretty interesting and awesome place to work at just day to day, you know. I really never know what to expect when it comes to this place. I've met some cool people working here, just happening, you know, people that just happen to come in. I sold an NES to uh, Colin Hanks, Tom Hanks' brother, one day. Sweet. That was that was interesting. Uh, Will Wheaton came in, uh, you know, about a month ago and hung out for a bit. So that that side of things is always fun. But uh, just being around all of these classic games and all of the like you know, nostalgia that it brings with it and the people that it attracts. It's just a fun place to be at. Uh, what about the uh, first floor arcade? Any ones that stand out for you per personally? Right. Um, yeah, I play a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 2, especially with the other employees here. We're pretty competitive. Um, and beyond that, you know, the Neo Geo, I really like Metal Slug 3. Um, and... Uh, Tech and Tag Tournament. I kind of gravitate towards fighting games whenever I can. I, I also got really into a couple of uh, games that we used to have on the floor, Popeye and Donkey Kong 3, but we had to remove those. So I see. Is there a story behind the removal of uh, those two games? Well, the way it goes with a place like this, you only have so much space, and so occasionally you have to look hard at how a game's actually earning money, and if it's not earning its place, and we have other games that are waiting to come on the floor, then we have to make some tough decisions and take it off the floor. We rarely sell anything, though. We usually keep it on hand, just in case. Um, a, second ago, a second ago, you uh, mentioned uh, some famous people, Will Wheaton, and uh, you have any uh, stars come in here? Yeah, once in a while, you know, like I said, Will Wheaton, Colin Hanks, I know for sure. Um, the Roseland Theater is across the street from us, and they host a lot of, you know, fairly big musical acts. And uh, we'll see those people in here every once in a while when they've got some time to kill or after their show. They'll come and maybe clean us out on our uh, classic console stock, you know, things like that. One of our employees played uh, NBA Jam with Questlove from The Roots, so that was pretty cool for him. Awesome. We always keep an eye out. Oh, uh, Brian Posehn and Patton Oswalt um, have been in here a couple of times, and a lot of people may have seen a scene with uh, Brian Bussain in the Comedians of Comedy movie um, that came out a few years ago documenting that tour at the uh, older location of Ground Control. Another question, uh, what about maintenance? Machines breaking down, people abusing them? Sure. What, can you talk about that for a minute? Sure, yeah, it's really hard maintaining an arcade um, especially pinball tables, they're really, really demanding when it comes to uh, maintenance because we want to keep them working as best as we can. Um, you know, we have a full-time uh, repair technician that uh, works on things all the time. All four of our owners chip in in their own way when it comes to pinball tables and the rest of the games, really. They all have their specialty. Um, and all of the employees here have at least really basic you know, training in how to clear a coin jam here and there, remove a stuck ball from a pinball machine, whatever. And the customers, for the most part, are really respectful of it. They, for the most part, they really get that, you know, these things are not easy to maintain, they're not cheap to maintain, and they'll come to us if they have a problem with it. But once in a while, you get somebody that's kicking a machine or whatever, and we gotta say, hey, like, just come to us, we'll help you out, you know, before you destroy this thing. I think it's probably better than it used to be, um, you know, when arcades were everywhere as far as how people treat games. But once in a while we find someone abusing a machine, we'll find graffiti on a machine here and there, which is disappointing, but that's how it goes. One thing that's really funny, though, is uh, the other day I actually sort of had to mediate uh, like an almost fight between two grown men over Robotron, tw Robotron 2084 because one was playing it and he kept pumping quarters in while the other guy was waiting to play. And, you know, they couldn't see eye to eye. They didn't want to play doubles. So uh, there was like a light shoving match and I had to say, hey guys, you know, just be patient. If your game's, you know, being played, move on to something else, come back, it'll be all right. Wow, so. two 12 year olds. No, well, you know, 12 year olds in, in 30 to 40 year old bodies, absolutely. Exactly. 
Cool. Just, you know, these games inspire that kind of, you know, feeling in a lot of people, though. You know, you feel like a kid when you come in here, so maybe once in a while you act like a kid. Exactly. I know I do. Yeah. I'm going to switch paces a little bit. I'm going to talk about the uh, the Retro Gaming Expo here. How, lo how long have you guys been uh, attending that? Well, let's see here. Um, I believe the one coming up will be the third one that I've attended. And uh, our one of our owners, Anthony Ramos, um, attended one before that in Vancouver, Washington. Um, so I would say four total so far. All right, Art, thanks, man. Uh, Art Santana, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. All right, folks, this is Matt and Chuck, and uh, we're at Ground Control. We had a really good time interviewing Art and Anthony. And uh, you have any final words to say, Chuck? Um, I think I'm going to head over there and play that Simpsons machine. Sounds good to me. See you guys later. Don't forget about the Portland Retro Game Expo on September 20th. We'd love to see you there if you're in the Portland area. Retro Game Expo. Go. Later.